Hello friends and welcome to my Toronto apartment tour. I'm Jen by the way and I've lived in Toronto for a couple of years now and I've always wanted to film an apartment tour. Like sometimes in my free time I'll just watch apartment tours and condo tours to get inspo. It's a small space that I'm working with so I've worked my hardest to try to decorate it so it's cozy and a nice vibe. I like that I get a lot of light during the day as well. But without further ado, I thought I would show you my Toronto apartment and some of the things that I love that make it feel so much like home. This is my Toronto condo. It's a one bedroom plus den and one bath that's around 550 square feet. My living room is honestly where I spend most of my time. A lot of my pieces are actually from more affordable furniture stores like Ikea, Structube, and Facebook Marketplace. Like this little coffee table that I got that I think really finishes the place nicely. One of the biggest things that shocked me about being an adult was how expensive furniture was. A lot of the stuff in my place actually took me a couple of years to fully build. I actually used to live with a roommate as well, and some of those pieces are from when I lived with her. I personally always struggle because I feel like I want this Pinterest perfect apartment in my head, but I also love adding things with more of a personal touch, like this puzzle my boyfriend and I put together that took us like five hours. Speaking of roommates, this bar cart was the very first piece that I bought from Facebook Marketplace. Um, my first time ever living in Toronto in the city and moving away from my parents after university. So here you can get a little sense of what the whole space looks like. I have a really small little circular dining table I got on Amazon and some chairs from Ikea. It's honestly the perfect size. I don't know if I could fit anything bigger. My kitchen's small, but I do try to do a lot of cooking here and I love my espresso machine. I know this is so not realistic, but this is what my room looks like half the time. This is a little bit exaggerated. I feel like I took a lot of this because I just have way too much stuff, but this is where my bed is positioned. I'm going to clean her up a little bit. Okay, much better. Um, okay, I was debating removing my Squishmallow, but this is Citrus. She's adorable. I got my sheets from If Only Home, and then my bed frame is still from Ikea. I found a little mushroom lamp on Etsy and I have some little coffee table books under just to add a little bit more spice. And then I also have my closet. So I got these LED lights on Amazon and I taped them behind my mirror. It is such a vibe at night and they even change colors which is so perfect um, and it was so easy to do. I've been even debating maybe getting more of these to put in other parts of my apartment because I love how vibey it feels. I'm sorry, but I had to show a realistic day of what my actual office looks like. I have these two paintings that are from I have to, the poster store. This is from Amazon. This table and the chairs from Amazon, the tables from Ikea. And I don't like that my clothing rack fills it up, but I honestly just have too much stuff. I have this whole little shelf that I found at Winners. Um, and don't mind, I have a little PR bag, but this just has a lot of products. So I have like my makeup up here and then like a whole bunch of hair products, makeup brushes. And then if we move down here, I have a lot of new unopened stuff um, and then stuff that I do want to keep and do want to use in the future. We're giving a lot of these away to some of my friends and family and then donating the rest um, So I think it's just a really great way to give back I know influencers can seem very like materialistic sometimes like we accumulate a lot of stuff in the work that we do I have this jewelry stand I got on Amazon to help organize a lot of my pieces because I used to just have them sitting in like a little bowl Clearly you can see how much stuff I really do have in this small space this is my bathroom though, just sink, shower, nothing crazy, and then I have this little G that I put that I got from Tulum. It was one of my finds and I thought this was the perfect spot. One of my friends had these little storage shelves from Amazon, so I literally ordered them, drilled them into the wall, and these were such a game changer in terms of storage for like product wise. Plus I can also display all the pretty packaged products. <laughs> So, and now for the real question some of you guys may be wondering is how much do I really pay for rent? 
I'm gonna be totally honest. I am a real estate agent, so seeing places in the market right now, this probably goes for around 2,800 a month, which is insane. I think it's crazy, but I thankfully am paying a family member's mortgage, so it's around. 1500 a month for the mortgage plus maintenance fees and then I pay an additional 60 to 100 dollars for my electricity every month and then around 50 dollars for internet anyways I can totally go into finances in a future video but thank you so much for watching my Toronto condo tour and hope to see you again I hope you guys enjoyed this little Toronto apartment tour make sure to subscribe for more videos